fear is a form of stress, science has demonstrated that it has an upside and a downside. It promotes survival when you're in imminent danger, but fear also works against you when it becomes a frequent response to everyday conflicts. Always feeling like a deer in the headlights can make you anxious and exhausted. As you journey on your spiritual path, it's vital to make a commitment not to lead a fear-driven life. It's important to do your best to overcome fear with courage, faith, hope, and the power of the heart. It's human to have fear, but one of the greatest spiritual challenges is to overcome it. May this next meditation help you surrender fear and find the courage and clarity every day to counter fear and cultivate faith. Doing this has tremendous rewards. It allows you to lead a more surrendered, joyous life. This meditation to surrender fear forms the basis of my own spiritual practice, and it's one I teach my patients. The beauty of this meditation is that it will shift you out of fear and into faith and compassion. I know how easily fear can gather momentum. The key to countering fear is to catch it early and keep opening your heart, what Taoists call the little sun. The heart chakra or energy center is the central hub of healing and calm in the body. You want to be able to regularly tap into it. In this meditation, you'll intuitively sense and access the energy of the heart to surrender fear and negativity. In a tranquil environment, sit in a comfortable position and close your eyes. Take a few long, deep breaths to relieve tension. The thing about fear is that the minute you close your eyes, fearful thoughts often arise. Common fears may surface, such as, I'll never be successful. I'll always be alone. I'll never become healthy again. Tell these thoughts, thank you for sharing, but do not concentrate on them. Concentrate on the rhythm of your breath to refocus yourself. Next, tune in to the soothing energy of your heart. The heart energy is the antidote to fear. Lightly rest your palm over your heart chakra in the middle of your chest. This energy center is the doorway to faith, compassion, and to a loving higher power. In a calm, centered state, inwardly request to connect with the presence of spirit, which is a loving higher power. This is a force greater than yourself that links you with love. It can be God, goddess, the night sky, angels, the great ocean, or the nameless one, whatever moves you and feels real. Most important, it is a force greater than your own ego or will. Your heart chakra can connect you with a higher, more refined consciousness. This is very important when you want to overcome fear. So gently focus on the sensations you feel in your heart area. Do not overthink or analyze this experience. What you will feel are totally visceral, intuitive sensations. This is not a matter for the linear mind. For instance, notice if you experience a comforting heat or a sense of tingling, a feeling of security, a warm and fuzzy wash of love, clarity, happiness, or even bliss. Or like me, you may feel a wave of wonderful goosebumps and a feeling of being deeply nurtured. You may want to laugh or be moved to tears. Whatever feelings emerge, 
subtle or intense, just go with them. Surrender. Do not overthink or analyze. Do not resist. Simply feel and intuit what your body is perceiving. It's easiest to first intuitively connect with spirit from the inside of your being. Spirit starts within you. Then you can use that home base to extend your consciousness with spirit to the outside world and all the way to infinity. Now, from this loving, secure, heart-centered place, gently focus on one of your fears that you'd like to be free of. It's best to deal with fears one by one so you don't get overwhelmed. You can start with the less intense ones. For instance, I'm afraid to say no to a friend. I'm afraid to assert myself with a relative. I'm afraid to work less obsessively. Or you may feel ready to tackle a larger fear, such as I'm a failure. I'll grow old alone. I'll always be in debt. I'm afraid of abandonment. For all of us, it's natural to have fears. Do not be ashamed of them. It is a courageous act to honestly look at your fears so that you can surrender them. Then, in a very relaxed state, meditate on your fear from a spiritual perspective. Ask yourself, how can this fear help me develop courage or become freer? For example, does courage mean cultivating self-love for you? Building confidence in the talented, fantastic person you are? sticking to a career goal despite obstacles? In your meditation, define the kind of courage that feels most right for you. This will help you transform fear rather than feeling victimized by it. Next, with your hand on your heart chakra, feeling the power of love flowing through you, inwardly repeat this mantra. I am not just my fear, I am larger. Then, connect with a sense of spirit greater than the fear, be it love or whatever feels real. Your soul is about to expand. Feel that expansion. Go with it. Stay innocent and open. Do not overthink this. The spiritual world holds magic our rational mind can't comprehend. Take a breath. Stay centered. Keep all your intuitive channels open while sensing spirit. Breathe spirit in completely. Let its well-being infuse you with the courage to be positive. You might also simply ask your higher power Please take this fear from me. Then stay open. Remain receptive. No straining, no forcing. Requesting such intervention brings extraordinary results.